And now, the morning rush. Everything you need to know to get your day started. Kara Duffy kicks off your morning rush. Right now, we're here at Christ Fellowship Church in Port St. Lucie, where a memorial service will get underway at 11 o'clock this morning for the Florida Highway Patrol trooper who was killed in the line of duty. 26-year-old trooper Zachary Fink died after colliding with a semi-truck while chasing down a fleeing suspect earlier this month. First this morning, there will be a funeral procession from the funeral home to the church. The service is open to the public and will also be streamed online. According to reporting from the TC Palm, we can anticipate that former President Donald Trump will appear in federal court here in Fort Pierce today. People should prepare for road closures, detours, and delays in the area. Later this morning, the defense will make their presentation about the case in detail and how the classified documents might be relevant or helpful in their defense without the special counsel present. It continues through this afternoon. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is hospitalized to treat an emergent bladder issue. The Pentagon said that Austin transferred duties to his deputy secretary. Austin was criticized last month for failing to disclose a cancer diagnosis and hospitalizations to even the president. A gunfire rang out at the Texas mega church of Pastor Joel Olstein yesterday afternoon. Police say a woman in a trench coat armed with a rifle began shooting. Two off-duty officers working security returned fire. She was killed and a young child with her was injured. Another nearby man was wounded. Osteen says it could have been worse. Well, the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs, claim the Vince Lombardi Trophy again at Super Bowl 58 after a come-from-behind victory. The game was the first ever to be hosted in Las Vegas and featured a halftime performance by superstar Usher, which included appearances by Alicia Keys, Ludacris, and Lil Jon. You watched it right here on CBS 12 News. In just two days, our morning team's hitting the road again. Our first CBS 12 News This Morning to Go newscast of the year kicks off in Boca Raton. We're headed to the Boca Bagel Bar. We're going to tell you what's going on in the community. We're also going to give you some free breakfast goodies, some swag. Come out and join us and meet us. We're going to check on your forecast right now. There's some rain across the southeast this morning. Showers and storms, a lot of lightning right now in central Georgia. As that front gets to us, though, it will be much weaker. There's a chance of a few isolated showers today but uh, the bigger story will be the colder air that moves in behind this boundary. So we're waking up this morning dry, a strong south wind today. This is now a look at noon. It might bring in a few showers because it does bring in a lot of heat and humidity. 65 in Port St. Lucie right now. Delray Beach is at 76, 65 in Bell Glade, 68 in Okeechobee. Again, there's that south wind pulling in all of that heat for us. Our highs are going to be in the mid 80s this afternoon, nearly 10 degrees above average in a few spots. Very warm outside and then much cooler air returns tomorrow. We are back in the 70s for the day on Tuesday. And one last look at our roads, Delray Beach, 95, Turnpike, both looking good. We're not seeing any major slowdowns out there. Yeah, not a bad start to our Monday. Thank you so much for joining us here on CBS 12 News this morning. Yeah, we're back in 30 minutes with another local update. Hope you have a great Monday, everybody. We leave you with a live look out at Jensen Beach. Remember, the news is always on at CBS12.com.